flowers of all seasons. The path to find the clear way of each wind lies beyond the shapes of slight stalks. It is too much assertion, even, to notice how the ghosts of dry tassels flutter inside brittle, unemptied direction. No matter their cracked finger skins or billowy, web-fine fragility, these gnarled husks are far too tangible a source to locate the true place of lush stillness. You must look between the long brown and green leaves, bent thin back between eternity and annihilation, for what is left from your vision of the past year now past all seeking. In these suggested stopped spaces, pale pompous grass recedes from jade cool desire middle right into the back corner panel, pushing its larger low counterpart left in and out of two dimensions until the winds of no motion blow their fresh flat breezes wholly up against the grain of self-composition. Now middle stems dance their sprigs and sprays behind and back over silent shadows in golden ancient arcs of smooth spirit. Smooth as the breath of life, as thinking of nine ways of doing nothing, as focusing the mind into one carved block that, if named, shatters into too many vessels to kill the Buddha when you meet him. Now you are left almost free from fresh flowers. Now your third eye opens to the true graceful vision of summer and autumn, a stationary swirl of sweet serenity, empty and emptying clearer and closer until you are left with the still, quiet joy of nothing near.